hello guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to show you a simple way to automate to automate your excel file okay so what do you need you need basic understanding of Java programming language not your copy so if you have the basic understanding you will understand the hundred percent of the code that I'm going to write if you don't have the understanding please have understanding first of Java then you can you know, watch this video it will make more sense then so what do what do we need to do now so what is your priority what do we need what do we mean by automating the excel file so let's say I have an excel file okay so let me go to my C drive so here in my temp folder I have a sample data file so let me open it first so when I say excel file this is my entire excel file and it it's having a lot of sheets okay so I want to print my data and then I have I want to email it or maybe I want to you know calculate the sum of this and I don't want to do it manually because we have a lot of formulas that we have to do and I know uh, a lot of people are really quick on this and they can calculate the solution or the formula in a really simple way but why do it when you have a code why do it when you can automate it okay so automation makes more sense because it's it's making our life easier and no burdens so that's good so this is the simple example uh, there could be more complicated way let's say I have two excel sheet and I want to compare the data with that with those two sheets and com while comparing let's say if any condition is getting true on my uh, basis on my requirements I want to print or maybe manipulate the data so that's more complex so there could be many scenarios where you can apply this but first you need to find out like how can we start the automation when you start the automation then it will be more easier for you to do complex things so today I'm going to print all of the data that you can see right now in this sheet okay so it's simple and after you write this code you can you can do most of the complex things okay and I will be making um, a three or four part video so this is the first part so I'll let you let you know the entire functionality behind the automation so this is all theoretical stuff like what do we need now how do we do it so uh, Java in Java we have a Apache POI which is an API so it provides you the functionality for Microsoft documents to read and write so basically it allows you to manipulate the document so it comprises three classes HSSF XSSF and SXSSF so with HSSF you will manipulate those files which were created before 2003 version including 2003 with XSSF you will be manipulating those files which were which were created after and including 2007 version XSSF is basically your previous one but it allows you to manipulate your large excel files okay when when we have a more data like millions and billions of data so I, I'll be starting with XSSF because I don't have much data so what I will do is first I have to open my excel file so when I open my excel file this is the workbook and a workbook is comprised of many sheets so these are my sheets and I want to print this first sheet or you can say second sheet okay so let's start with the code I'm using clips as my IDE you can use a preferred IDE so basically I'm going to create my maven project so why maven because it will provide me the functionality to download the jars which I don't want to do myself so group ID and then the project name Excel auto and then click finish it will take some time okay that's done now what do I need first let's open pom.xml I need the uh, I need dependencies first for which I created my maven project so let's create a tag dependencies so it's a parent tag now I need my child when I say child let's go to maven repository.com 
and search for Apache POI. So basically I need two dependencies. Okay, so this is my first, this is my second and I want to choose a stable version just to make sure. So I'm going to use the same version for these two dependencies. So I'm choosing 3.17, paste it here. Do the same thing here, 3.17 copy it so you have to just choose the stable version that's all okay save it and it will try to download the jars for you let's see if they are done okay so my jars are already downloaded so i need now a java file where i'll write the logic to automate the good stuff now i'll name my file as excel auto but i need a package so com dot excel dot auto and then I need my main method so click finish now basic steps let's let's see baby baby steps okay first I need to open my file excel file then I want I want an, an input stream through which we will read the file after input stream I want my workbook to be created so that I can you know read the data then I need my des desired sheet to be opened then I want to iterate over each row of my sheet then I want to iterate over each cell of that current row then I want to close my workbook and that's all yay so finally write down <laughs> let's write down the code so let's start with open file so file file new file okay now what do we need is we need the path of my file so it's at c temp sample data dot xlxs after you open your file what do we need you need and input stream so file input stream fis equals to new control space and then provide c file here so it can create an exception if this file is not found at this path so i need to provide the exception handling i prefer try catch because it's it provides me more user functionality and I like that okay now what do I need is I want to create my workbook object let's do that so this is my class for workbook let's name it work I don't want to uh, okay now I need my constructor and then I want to provide FIS okay I don't like this it's too big so what you can do is you can reduce these two and you can just put it here it will uh, less two lines for you now I need to create one more catch block yeah Eclipse is that good okay now my workbook is opened what do I need now I want my sheet to be opened okay so XSSF sheet so this is the class so what do we need I want second sheet to be opened but in Java like in array you start with zeroth index here also you will start from zeroth index so it will be zero and this one will be one so I want get sheet at index one okay now you have your desired sheet now I want to iterate over row so when I want to iterate over row what do I mean I want an iterator spelling is wrong <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying like this so row iterator it's 4 a.m. in the morning and this is how much excited I am right now okay sheet dot iterator okay let's import java.util okay now I need my while loop and it will execute till it has row so row 
iterator dot has next now I want my current row object to be saved so that I can iterate over each cell of this row what I'm doing is I want this next now I want to import row I, and it will create an error for you why because it is a casting ex ex error compilation error this is an object this is a row object so let's use generics here row papa generics okay function and okay now what i need is i need a second iterator to iterate over cells so let's use papa generics again cell and then cell iterator and then sheet no row dot cell iterator and then use your while loop again but we have to import also let's use control shift i oh sorry o uh, okay cell iterator dot has next now let's save my current cell object and use your cell iterator dot next okay now what do we need we have different different types here so we have date we have string we have integer we have float okay so there are so many types so if we consider them as one it can create the exception just like here okay and that will be runtime exception of casting ex exception which we don't want so I'll use switch case to get the data type of my current cell so get cell so previously we were using cell type and uh, which is now deprecated so why I don't know but it was not good because it's providing you an integer and it was hard to identify but I'm going to use cell enum which provides you enum variables which are more readable and they make more sense so case and then I'm using string so if the cell data type is of type string then do something inside so as you can see this is more simpler so let's learn something new numeric so when I say numeric it comprises your integer your float both of them is it it good yeah so default and then break so after each cell iteration or row iteration I want to uh, I want it to be printed in the next line okay so what I will use is after the cell iteration which is ending here I'll print new line this is out okay now what do I need to do is here I need to print out the data so I, I don't need new line I want it to be in the same line but with a space or you can use tab cell dot get string cell value now as I told you that in the excel file we have a date format also so this date format will not be exactly like that when you print it in the java application so what do you, what do you need is you need to parse that which I'm not going to do right now because I want it to be you know just automation thing right now and if I am able to print all the data I think we are one step ahead so as this is a part video so I'm going to make more videos on it and in those I'll make it more specific so just hold on to it let's see the entire code what's missing something is missing okay so we forgot to close the workbook so let's close it but where after we are completing our row iteration so here oopsie I clicked on I, where did I click it? I think insert yeah okay so work dot close oh yeah done let's first try it out then we will look at the code one more time okay finger crossed and it's somehow in the wrong format it's printing wrong let's see where it went wrong 
okay so it's getting messed up after your first type so first type is the string print oopsie we forgot to remove ln let's run it again yeah finally it worked so accept your date which is not in your desired format you can see that the code is ending with 189.05 which is the last column so let's see the last row 186 let's find out if it's same or not oh we cannot <laughs> okay let's try to find out with this 139.72 yeah okay so it's working so that was all for my first video in this series i'm going to make more now and if you have any questions on this please please don't hesitate to write down in the comment section if you want any specific content please let me know if you don't understand or if you're getting any error while running this, running this code please let me know i am always available okay and I need your help guys I just have 7 subscribers <laughs> and at 4 am I'm trying to make more videos so please help me out please subscribe my channel like it share it and have fun have a great day and an awesome day bye guys